is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of uh, mostly cloudy. Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update, and currently we have a mixed bag out here. That mixed bag shows the uh, Dow futures up 115 points. The Nasdaq futures up 20. The S&P's down 6. The E-mini Russell's up uh, 11 points out there. If you've got gold down $6, silver off 10 pennies. You've got light sweet crude trading up a buck 68832 is the print right there, and the 30-year treasury is off 14 ticks. Let's do this here. I'm going to show you what's going on short term. Um, as, to, as opposed to giving you the full-blown update out here because uh, I think this is important. So as we take a look at the 30-minute time frame that we have for each of the four equity future contracts out here. So what's taking place in the ES Mini? The ES Mini has gotten back into its swing point. This was from uh, 22, 30, 100 hours. That was on January 26, so that was two days ago. In essence, it's tested and it's rejected that level. Now, it's traded inside a new profile that formed just as we were uh, coming on to do this segment out here. So this profile shows resistance at 43 16 75. It says 65, but it can't trade to that level. So 43.16.75. If price closes above that, two consecutive bars on a 30-minute basis is a bear structured profile. That's going to suggest a further rally. Otherwise, price ran right into resistance. That's the ES mini. The NQ also testing the same swing point. Now, this was a valid test because it actually got down and tested and rejected the low from that January 26 swing point. It too has a brand new profile. Now its profile is bullish in structure. Bullish because the center is closer to the bottom than it is to the top. So the NQ should conceivably uh, target 14060. But if price closes above 14060, you'd expect an additional rally. On the pullback into 930, what you're looking for is support to potentially hold. Well, that's the bottom. That's what's already been tested. In the case of the NQ, could also take a look at that bullish structure profile, 13853 to 13899. For the ES, it's 4271. If you look at the Dow Equity Future contract, it too tested that same swing point. It just tested the top, not the bottom of that swing point. It's also generated a bearish structured profile. Resistance there, 33.985. So this is cool because on the, on the play by play out here, you know, George, uh, uh, and, 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 but the, on the play by play out here, um, you know what's going on and what to be watching for. Support, 33.654. I didn't get to the Russell 2000, but what you'll see on my chart out here is a three drive to a bottom pattern. And in the case of the Russell 2000, Price trading right now into resistance, 191560. That's what you want to watch this week. Folks, stay tuned. Basil Chapman is up next. Have a fantastic Friday. Wonderful weekend. We'll see you on the